Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that over there? No way. No way. Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Sean White games on the Wii. Sean White Road Trip is amazing. The story is that you're a group of snowboarders who want to follow the footsteps of Sean White himself. You select a character and the cameraman and go snowboarding. The gameplay is very casual and forgiving, but the most important part about it is that it's fun. The controls are nicely mapped, they are simple to use, yet they allow you to perform a good deal of tricks. As for variety, you get time trials, collection minigames, and races, and trick contests. And the game has multiplayer. And the multiplayer isn't just a bunch of minigames. No, no, here you can play the entire campaign in co-op. Though it sucks that you can't start the game in single player and continue with a friend and then play single player again. No, if you want to play the campaign in co-op, you have to start it in co-op and you can't continue it in single player afterwards. Which kinda sucks if you don't intend to play the entire game with a friend. But in Rust I can't say anything bad about the game. Maybe to some hardcore fans the game will feel too casual and too easy, but for the most players I think that they will find it most probably awesome. Sean White's Snowboarding World Stage is the sequel to Road Trip. This time you're number 100 and need to work your way to the top. There are new score animations with pizza and you can create your own moves in the creator. The gameplay is largely unchanged from last year, though it has new stuff like, elim like elimination races, the co-op is still the same which is good and not good, I mean it's the same as last year with the same problems. But overall, even if the gameplay is largely the same, and the game is short, it still remains a super awesome game to play. Sean White skateboarding is awesome. It uses similar controls to the snowboarding counterparts and they work well. They feel similar to the skate series but adapted to the Wii. So instead of flicking a joystick, here you flick the Wii mode to do tricks. It's amazing how the developers map the controls. Though you won't be able to have a varied repertoire like in Tony Hawk. Still, there are plenty of moves to perform here too. And it's annoying that the game forces you to do various tricks, otherwise you get penalties. Also it seems that I'm one of the few who actually liked the controls. There are other reviewers that didn't like the controls and called them tedious or awkward. I don't agree with them. I find the controls really good and the gameplay is very good too. It's again on the casual side. It's really hard to miss in the game, you can never feel a flip trick, rails are super magnetic and if you fall, your skater will instantly get back on the board. Ok, the last one is awesome because you can keep your flow. You also get free roam, you get 9 maps to roam in, the levels are large open areas filled with grinds, half pipes and stunt opportunities, you get plenty of customization options, fun cutscenes, trick challenges, races, collectathlons, split screen multiplayer. The game is awesome. I definitely consider it a hidden gem. 